Hello there, and welcome back to Old World Blues, my friends. I'm Mr. Mocha Lover, of course, and we're playing as those pale, pale folks. So last time, we were just minding our own business, and then all of a sudden, these people from Vault City, these ghouls, decided to declare war upon us. How dare they? But right now, we've just finished up conventional warfare with field fortifications. We got even more defense in our organization, a flat four for infantry, motorized, and mechanized. But now we shall do coordinated assault for even more breakthrough because, well, we're going to need everything we can get because we got minus 50% division attack. Luckily, the Desert Rangers are here to help us out, but uh, we'll see what happens. We got quite a few columns to go through, so let's begin. So I asked you guys yesterday a couple things, like such as whether we should do Pale Folk Security Forces or not, as well as uh, the new Gold Rush or reopen the quarry. Now, let's talk about this one first just because I want to. Now, there's support for both sides to reopen the quarry or do the, and do the new gold rush, but there was overall, at the time of this recording, overwhelming support for the new... Uh, actually, the quarry. There was overwhelming support for the quarry. For some reason, I got confused. But there's absolute o overwhelming support for the quarry. It's like, let's see, 7 to 2. At the time of this recording, that's how much support there was. 7 for the quarry versus 2 for the new gold rush. At least at the time of this recording. So we're going to go with reopen the quarry. That would be great. Uh, let's see. There's another focus here. That we saw that it's either we do the below is ours. Or we do trade with the above. And which we'll probably end up doing let them come and do this one. So it was recommended from you guys' comments yesterday. That if we're going to do the below is ours. We spawn four militia groups around scattered around your lands. Someone recommended that I expand the militia force template. So we can hopefully get those four divisions that will end up being very, very thick. So hopefully that'll happen. Hopefully we can do that. So uh, maybe go ahead and do that. No, you know what? We're not doing that yet, so we'll wait. We can wait because we got to keep as much manpower as we possibly can for this stuff right now. Uh, let's see. Mineral drinkers. Uh, also for this one. Let's see. What, I was talking about it. You guys did recommend I should go security forces because that flat 10 organization for divisions for infantry platoons is very nice. It's very, 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 very nice. So we'll do that. It looks like we might be able to break through. Come on. Uh, okay, Desert Rangers. Good luck with that. You can keep these guys in place as I move into here. If you'd like to be help support the attack for now, really, there you go. That's what we want to see in circle those two divisions. Good. Oh, they're actually attacking us now. Oh, that's not good. Oh, what? They're actually losing. Oh, uh, that's not good. You stay here. Oh, do we have an upgrade? Reaper the Noisy. Strong back. Nah. Idiot Savant. Not bad. I might do that. Oh, but 5% more attack. 20% more equipment capture ratio. We're actually okay on equipment for now. I'm going to go with Mysterious Stranger just because 5% more attack can actually kind of help us out because since we have photophobia, so... And that actually help out, right? Oh, God, we're actually... You know what? Don't even... Just hold. Everyone just hold for now. Ooh, another division. Don't mind if we do. Yeah, get over there if you can and hold. Like, I don't, I don't want to do last stand, but we kind of have to. Dynamite will be great. That's exactly what we need. This will be nice as well. Let's get some trained Mongols as well, just because we need stuff to help hold the line. Okay, well, you know, why are you attacking like that? Please don't attack like that. Let them starve first. We'll kill them off that way. Looks like they're taking a lot of attrition, which is nice. It's only 4%, unfortunately. And we, still got, we have to start saving up some political power because, well, we're going to need it. Uh, I'm going to recommend you guys come back this way. How about Battle Mountain so they don't die? Oh, there's two divisions there already. Nice. Two, two, two. Just hold the line. You don't get debuffs on here. Like, you're doing pretty well already. It looks like they might have more divisions now. That's okay. We're milking all that army XP as much as we possibly can. So that's what's the most important thing right now. Currently get 1.85 a day. Really 0.85 because of what we've got. Dedicated forces. We've got better land doctrine. Get some phantoms. We're going to immediately go ahead and grab Face the Sun for more weekly manpower. Plus two. A whole plus two. We have recognized that our weakness is our people's reaction to daylight. If we want to field at any decent amount of troops, we need to give them equipment that lets them stay outside without being hampered too much by sunlight. We will also try to slowly acclimatize more people to live in the above. Two percent more, a uh, two per, blah, 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 blah. two more weekly manpower, and the recruitable population by ten percent. Awesome. Forty-seven, forty. Come on, come on, come on. No, don't get. No, 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 no. It's okay. I don't want to give up here, but I just want to really have these guys die over there. That'd be good. Uh, more defense, basic weaponry, slaughtering really. Hmm. We could do scout kits. I think we get those later on. Maybe I don't remember. <laughs> At the time of recording, I can't remember. My mind is kind of gone, but that's okay. Let's go get some motorized flight, maybe, or 76. Anything? No, that's, that's, we're doing okay right there. Uh, let's get some more construction speed, because we want to build, 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 because we're going to have to defend ourselves as best as possible. And I'm so glad that we have the Desert Rangers helping us, and basically killing off their own manpower. Good. 
good. Uh, can you guys actually go there? No, you can't. So that's actually good if you can just remain here first. Get some organization. We're going to try to attack. Save up more political power. Core this area once... Go Conda once we can. And then core Vault City as fast as possible. As well as Gecko. Gecko would be good. Oh, man. After this initial attack, it's not going to be easy trying to... Do what we must. And they died. Beautiful. I don't know you both come here. Because we could try one huge attack right here. That, like one, two, three tiles we're going to attack here at one time. Maybe with the help of the Desert Rangers. I don't know. Desert Rangers, come on. Can't you wait? Can't you wait? Um, actually, it might be better to do outsider auxiliaries. Just so we can go ahead and get that daily compliance gain. I do want to do this. This actually wouldn't be too bad to grab which one gives you outposts. This one, so we can build more and more and more. We have other comms to go through. I'm going to go ahead and grab this just so we get more compliance. It doesn't make too much sense for us, but we need it. Please stop attacking. Uh, don't know why I'm whispering, but whatever. Help out the attack if you can. Please, 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 please win. Please. Alright, so now we have to leave the attack because the Desert Rangers are tired. Oh, come on. Come on, please. Alright, 85. You know what? I don't want to do force attack, but we're going to do it anyways. We've got to push through. Smoke signals. Let's grab some decryption. That'd be good. It takes about a month to do, which is awesome. Alright, even with minus 50% attack, it seems like we can do kind of okay. Even though we are killing off our own... Manpower and supplies and stuff like that. Mm. Oh, we're not mobilizing anymore. Oh, crap. Hey, we actually won. Nice. Uh, I'd recommend you guys do this as well to help them out so we can keep moving. Help out, help out, help out. Oh, come on. Don't throw more divisions in their face of sun. Great. That's actually really good. New directions. Working with Vault City or River Conquer them. So we can't do that yet. Expand the tunnel network. Just more than guns. A good defense. Working with Vault City. Well, we can't do that one then. So be it. Cap, growth, research speed. Infantry equipment, better production cost, reliability, and soft attack. That could be really, really good. Let's do... Let's go ahead and do this. Light at the end of the tunnel. There's not much left of the, from the town of Carlet. Curiously enough, the library survived relatively untouched. Most of the books are just novels or otherwise not very useful. But some are about local history, which is mostly mining related. We might get some interesting information out of those. Oh, come on. You can't attack her. Oh, come on. Then hold then. You actually might be able to break them down here, which I'm not sure that's going to be really helpful, but we'll see what happens. At least we're mobilizing 10% more, and that's pretty much all that we've got. Oh god. Please help us. Scorpions go with the Raiders. Do we have enough... What's our industry like? We've got 10... Oh, we got to make some planes, man. we got to be making some planos. Yes. Oh, we got some dynamite. Got... And we got to make some dogs. I need the industry now. Uh, that's a case. It is almost 2277, which is good. I'm going to get some more cap. And a doctor output, which doesn't really matter. Oh, hello there. I'm going to go ahead and have you guys come over here then. Nice, we actually won over there. Nice. Well, as long as the Desert Rangers don't go to war, which they shouldn't go to any war with anyone. We should continue to do okay here. Deco signals, great. Get some encryption. Also, there's a comment, are we advanced or are we civilized? Well, I think I showed you guys yesterday, but we are only civilized. We're not tribal, at least. Because that would be too hard. But at least we're civilized, which is good. Which is very, very good. And someone already came up with a spy agency name, which sounds really, really cool. Oh, can we, oh they, do they have armor? They do have armor. Uh, oh, it's getting better. I like it when it gets better. Come on, Desert Rangers, you got to hold out. It's slowly going up. Slowly. Oh, this is painful. Come on. Force the attack. Just force it. So be it. God, this, uh, this, this has got to be brutal. This has got to be really brutal. Get some spec ops equipment. Great. With you guys doing that, half you guys, I just want you to go in there immediately if you can. There you go. Just because I want them to be able to push further. Further. So maybe we can make an instrument. Maybe they'll attack us some more. We got another division that is awesome. Yet we can only make one at a time, which really sucks. Uh, do we have any dynamite? No, we don't. We have anti tank. Which is not bad. Help them out, help them out. Hey, what are you doing? What, what, what are you doing? Get over here. Okay, we got over there. Can we come down here? Can you go ahead and do the attack? Come on, come on, just hold it. Yes! Another one, my friends. Another one has been secured. Clay working. Awesome. Let's go ahead and grab some more output. Public projects. That'd be very, very good. Light at the end of the tunnel. Good. Let's go ahead and do reopen the quarry just to get some more construction speed. Well, the quarry was started during the gold rush long before the war. Its main purpose for us now is the useful building materials we can gather from it. Very good. Help them out. Everyone help them out if you can. Uh, 
you know what? Screw it. Just don't even help them out. They might want to attack us. That's okay. Coordinate assault. Ah, more breakthrough. Good. And we're going to go with Triple Warfare. Get more defense and entrenchment speed. It's only entrenchment speed. But I'll still gladly take it. Okay, Desert Rangers, you continually attack. I mean, I'll help support the attack. Yeah, go ahead. They must not like Vault City, which is good. Vacuum tubes, get more research speed. Yes, please, yes, please. Uh, how is the compliance down here? Oh, they're attacking us. Let them starve like the other group. That'd be good. Nice, very nice. Mm, we could go up there, but we're stretching our line up pretty thinly here. Nice. And they immediately begin attacking us. So be it. Force the defense. That was... Mm. Can you guys come all the way over here? It's going to open... We already have an open hole, but I don't really care. These guys should be able to take them out pretty easily. Uh, that, as long as these guys can hold, that would be good. Come on. All right, let's begin attacking here. They should be able to kill these guys off. Oh, oh boy, we got divisions in there quick enough. Oof. Don't help out here. Two divisions. Oh, man. Not bad, not bad. <sighs> Come on, win, 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 win. Kill them off, kill them off. I'm going to go and grab this next level. Outside of battalions. We need it. Hey, we got 60 guys. Nice, very nice. You guys are great, you guys are doing great. Just keep it up, keep it up. There we go, one division to kill it off immediately. Good lord, we're going to need to help these guys out better. Come on, kill them off, kill them off. The Desert Rangers are doing great. Thank God for the Desert Rangers. Oh my goodness. One of the few rare times I'm actually going to save that. Uh, awesome. So we're not... Oh, actually. Looks like they don't have enough division. So, just walk into the Vault City if you can. The Fall of Vault City. They can't stand much more. If you can, just go to the courtyard if we can. That'd be nice. Hey, thank you very much. You know, this is weird. Desert Rangers actually came through for us. But now we have no manpower because we got to put down all these people. If that's the case, I'm going to go ahead and do military force. Let's expand them if we can. Uh, well... Do we get more? We get more daily army. We keep saying I want to do that, but and we will. It's gonna take some time. I'm glad we already got outside of battalions because then this is gonna come out really nicely. Go ahead and get baseline pacification. We gotta get as much compliance immediately as possible. Eight percent, nice. Can get go. Point four a day. Point. It's between point three to point four. That's really nice. Open, reopen the quarry. Great. Let's go and do it. Fortify the entrance just because we may get attacked eventually. Probably the 80s are gonna attack us. Even though there was a comment from yesterday saying that you know. The scare tactics that we have up here from yesterday, the scare tactics, not really that useful, except maybe when the 80s attack us. So, But regardless, now that the people are less likely to just stumble upon our operations, we can start building defensive outposts in the front of the major entrances to our underground network. This means that in case someone does find out how to get to us, we can at least mount a proper defense, which is good. Very, very good. we got another one factory. Um, mm, I want to use dogs, but now we got to really save up our political power, so... Construction speed, just build. Actually, we should probably be building. Oof. Hmm. Maybe build roads. Because then we can build things even faster here and get more resources. Even though we have enough resources, maybe building that's okay for now, especially since I want to core these guys. Now, next up, I'm, I still know for a fact that it's either going to be probably the 80s who wants to kill us off. Maybe even New Reno. Because can they go to war with Vault City? Debt Warriors. Tying loose ends. What is Debt Warriors? Oh, that's cool. Oh, the climate stuff. Calling the Savages. Tiny Loose Ends. Yakuza. Antelope. Oh, I thought for certain that they wanted to take... Oh, well, they have Nevada Reclamation, so... We will have to fight them eventually unless they get taken out by someone else. I know the 80s want to kill us, but, you know, what else is new? Cool. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Prepare defense is great. More entrenchment, more defense. Our trenchment speed, anti-armor tactics are great. Cool, another division. And when you're done, go ahead and train since we should have enough equipment. Especially with Vault City capitulating like that. How are we looking, how are we looking? Got one, one. Oh, this is not good. How much is it going to cost for us to core Gold Conda? Can't be that much. 50, that's not bad. Vault City right now would cost us 117, which isn't bad either. That's actually really not bad at all. Okay, now we get that. Basic tools. Let's grab some more pop monthly population infrastructure construction speed. Seed selection will be great. Aid, support equipment. Eh, it's not bad. Research speed, water. Oh! Okay. Well, good luck to both sides. I hope you. Who are you? Warlord Kaza. Cool. 
So this way we have this unlocked every whenever we want to do it. That'd be fine. Division defense on core territories. Starting defense skill level of new army leaders is great. Volta calling. Um, so apparently they didn't give us a hard choice. So we can't do this part of the trees, which means probably at the end of this episode, I'm just going to go and use Khan's commands to get this one completed. So I'm going to go ahead and read this for us. Voltec asks, or not Voltec, Vault City asks us very politely to join them with the subtle help of a loaded gun. So I'll just go ahead and do that off screen when this episode's done. And then we'll do We Won. So that begs the question should we burn the city? Or we are the overseer now. We get three Vault City mercenaries, and uh, well, I guess we can't do that. Yeah, they have to exist. They have to be our puppet to do that. Vault City taxes, salt the earth. We could liberate them, but I'm going to have to use their manpower. There's nothing I can do. I have to eat them. So, we, so we're forced to do burn the city, which I kind of don't want to since I'm going to court eventually anyways. But oh well. And then everything gets removed to Carlin. Oh, that really sucks. I really don't want to... I really don't want to do that. Because that, that hurts the amount of resources we get. That's really that's really crappy that we have to do that. But whatever. And we'll contact other gangs. We'll get to do this. Passage for the 80s. And back to raiding. So that's unfortunate. That's really, really, really unfortunate. But whatever. Power from below. What do we want? Energy still game for energy. Yeah. I'm pretty sure... Oh, Vault... Um... Vault City has been conquered, so... I might just do that off-screen as well, so I'll read this one, too. Just because... Vault City's dead? Well, we don't have an immediate need to look for spare parts anymore, the rating business was pretty lucrative in other regards, too. So why not continue with that? So I'll probably do this just off-screen, like the other one, just so that things can progress. Ooh, try playing attacker. Ooh, I like that, but we don't have the industry for that yet. So, instead, we're going to get to acquire mining equipment. Expand the tunnel network. While moving our people to the above would be an easy solution, it's also dangerous. Ro roving gangs and scary wildlife. While we do encounter the occasional mole rat while digging our tunnels, we've learned to deal with those over the years. So this seems like a good alternative to stick to your roots, as they say. We get three more infrastructure in the courtyard. Okay. As well as Carlin. So building an infrastructure here in Carlin. God dang it. It's kind of a waste. But I'd rather not waste time. So, we're going to get it anyways. That's my fault. I should have read that earlier. Oh well. And that's the. Do we, you know what? You know what? Buy some more guns. We have a few caps. We might need more guns later on. So, it's good to be prepared. And this is continually decreasing. So, vacuum tubes are nice. Let's grab some primitive radio. Good. Now we gotta figure out who we're gonna attack next. Okay, New Reno's getting very large, which is kind of making me feel a little apprehensive. What are the 80s up to? Wisdom of the Elders. I do wanna take out cutting into the slave trade with the right world territory. I want to take out the, these guys as well, but mm, Slack Ops Tribes, it really depends, because I'm sure that the Troll Warren want to take them out eventually, too. Ooh, I don't think you guys have a unique focus tree, do you? It might be worth it for us to take out the Slack Ops Tribes right now, or prepare to take them out. It might just be worth it. Maybe. We'll have to do that. Okay, what the heck. I did both of the things. Come on. How many divisions do they have? Well, not that much manpower. They have 79. So we actually have more divisions, which is not bad. Uh, I guess, you know what? We'll have Vault City hopefully cord soon enough. Let's go ahead and do that. I think that'd probably be for the best. We can already core this area soon enough. But, hey, look. 37, 39. Hey, not bad. 0. 0.6. 0. 0.9. Okay, point goes up by 0.4. Great. Keep getting higher and higher and higher. Put down that resistance. God awful. Hey, do we actually have a little bit of manpower? How much are we going to core? We got, uh, that's 20%. Really 19.9. So we're still coring. We're still mobilizing, I mean. But, mmm. Mm. How about settlements regardless? Metalworking? Awesome, awesome, awesome. Go do that. Let's get some basic tools. Tools are nice. Good. No planes yet. Oh, God. We need more guns. Expand the tunnel network. Great, great, great. Acquire mining equipment. We've been getting very good at digging tunnels, but our original machines have broken down long ago. So we have to do most things manually for a while. But since we have access to the above again, we can now get new machines, either through trade or by scavenging. Resource efficiency gains plus 10%, which is awesome, and more infrastructure construction speed. And if you follow this channel at all, you know I love building, building, building infrastructure. Probably too much. Acquire better living standards, which would be great. Stability, war support. Hey, look, monthly population plus 2%. Oh, God, no. New Reno 1. 1% more recruitable population, awesome. And actual production lines? Nice. Very nice. Oh, and apparently... Oh, come on. 
So I don't know. Was there, is there supposed to be a special event for us? Because this is working with Vault City versus Fresh Meat. I'm probably going to do this as one as well, so I'm going to read this for you right now. Well, we initially did those excursions to fill our larders. We actually met some people with similar tastes two hours along the way. Occasionally, some of the food actually joined us directly. If it is literally eaten or beaten, some people have become very, very practical on other occasions. We got the whole group joining us that were shunned from the community. If they can pull it away, we will still take them. Very good. Cool. Really emphasizing inf uh, infrastructure now. Industry right now. Industry, 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 industry. Even though we're building up more roads. So be it. It is what it is. Actually, over here, do we have aggressive attack on core territory, max planning, 5%. I don't want to lower my defense, but, hmm, hmm. Chief of the Navy, actually, Air Force would actually be pretty useful if we had factories to use for them, so. Go ahead and keep training if you need it. That'll be good. And actually, we still have dynamite, god dang it. Uh, I want planes, but make some dynamite first. That would probably be best to do. Where are we at with, not Battle Mountain, but this. 58% of the way there. Almost 59. That's awesome. 0 0.1, 0 0.4, 0 0.7, 60. We'll get there eventually, which is good, 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 good. Major businesses, I'd love to do that one, but we can't. Hey, everybody can pay tune too. Nice. Let's buy a few more guns. I think that'd be good. Acquire mining equipment. Awesome. Now let's go ahead and get some better living standards. It is surprising how much a few fresh fruit can do for your mental health, even if those fruit look nothing like the ones we've seen in the records of our ancestors. What is a mutt fruit supposed to be anyway? But those and other luxury items coming in now have done wonders for our morale and productivity. 10% war support, 10% uh, stability. I prefer 10% population, but you know, we'll take whatever we can get. Let's see, Pale Fighters. Actually, we put chem companies on them last time, not bad. Alright, at this point, we have got some primitive radio. And we could do that, but we're actually doing okay on resources for now. Let's get some motorized flight. That'd be pretty good to do. And let's start expanding this. Hopefully this works. There's a, there's a chance that it just spawns new templates for militia divisions. But, you know, I'll, I'm willing to take the chance right now. Are you willing to take the chance on me? Yeah, maybe. 40. 40, nice. Soon to be uh, slightly higher. Slightly higher, please. Thank you. Oh, I want to spend political power, but no... Still nothing here. Settlement protection. At least it helps with construction speed and mobilization speed a little bit. Oh, also, can we go to... Oh, oh we can't even do that one. Okay, anti-armor tactics, and then we shall go with waste and survivalism. But unfortunately, I will be right back. Alright, my apologies about that. I tried to record, like, right after the break, but then I started coughing, so this is not exactly where we left off. Uh, we were still justifying on the uh, Cyclops tribes, but as you can see, a couple things have happened. White Legs Clear War New Kingdom. Uh, Crimson Athletes declared one in Kimmel Station. We got our justification done, and we've done adequate living quarters, which I forget if I read that to you. If not, it's still right here. So we get more monthly population, and now 1% more recruitable population, which is great. But now let's get actual production lines because we need these. Holy cow, now that our people are content and well rested, they are way more eager to get to work. There are tools to build, weapons to craft, and wars, of course, to win, which would be great, 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 great. So we get one, two, three, awesome. And actually, getting more guns here was a really good idea. We could go to war now. It's probably worth it. Let's stop training and start coring some of this territory. Of, well, eventually. Oh, look at that. Hey, we can core this too. Nice, nice, nice. Look at that. 50 political power. Nice. Vault city. Beautiful. Oh, look at that manpower. Courtyard versus gecko. Well, oh, I can't really touch gecko yet. Um, let's see. Supply areas, estates. There we go. Oh, I can't court that one yet. That's 76. And we almost court all of it. Oh, it's 71. Oh, we don't have enough compliance. That makes sense. Not bad. Hey, we got Vault City Court, which is awesome. Look at that. 20 factories. 20 factorinos. Oh, my goodness. Do we actually have... We have another military factory. That's so good. Let's go and go to war with these guys then. Oh. The Antelope Tribes is justifying on them as well. Oh, actually, we might have to go to war with the Antelope Tribes then. They attack me. No, they don't, which is good. Go ahead and take you. Let's see. One, two, three. Hmm... We'll go one. You're going to go all that way up there. And you're going to go right there. Let's see what you can do. See if you can go right on in. Hey! Desert, oh, not the Desert Rangers, but the Ancial Rangers. Welcome. Now we can do that and cut them off. That'd be great. Now they want to cut us off, which is not great. Hey, there we go. You know what? Do that if you can. If we can start encircling them. I don't really want to attack them because we still don't have good attack. Hopefully we can get rid of that eventually someday, but we'll see what happens. Oh, look at that. Look at that. They wanted to kill themselves. Yes. 
We actually took the capital, which is awesome. Actually, you know what? Hmm. We could attack. Can we just take the gold strike? Would that capitulate them? Probably not. Look at that. It's beautiful. Standardized tools? Cool. You guys take everything around them. Next up, we shall do... What else? Ah, backyard workshops. Great. We don't have demo teams yet on these guys either, so... Kind of sucks. Kind of sucks. Take Elko if you can. That's, so take out that division if you can, actually. And we're defending, doing the best we can. Uh, no, 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 no. Hey, the Rangers have showed up. Great. Kill them off. All I ask you do to do is just pretty much kill them off. That's all. Come on, get in there, Desert Rangers. Come on, help us out. Help us out. Help them out right there. These guys should die very soon. And we got these divisions to go around. Why are you going that way? Go there. You guys help out right here. Take them out, take them out, take them out, take them out, take them out. Help out if you want. They took that area back. And come here then. Beautiful. Going up a mount. Good, good, good. I love it when it all comes together. Militia training, great. Uh, let's go ahead and grab some basic weaponry. That'd be good too. Awesome. Since we're here, do, 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 do. I wonder if we can cut that division off if we move fast enough. Of course. Courtyard time. Yes, please. Gecko. Hey, we court all of Vault City territory. Beautiful, my friends. Absolutely beautiful. Cut these guys off. Just go right there. Because you won't have that much organization. Good. Good, good. Uh, to prevent them from doing that, go ahead. There you go. Keep doing this. That's fine. Go here to there. Go here. If they're going to do that, you might as well help them out. Kill them off. There you go. There you go. There you go. Awesome. We got it. And they're done. Gun, gone. Awesome. We have actually we actually have some manpower. This is weird. Pyopok is looking great. Oh, the Crimson Acolytes. Oh. Oh boy. Now they obviously don't do great, because they don't have a lot of manpower. But they do have a little bit oh man, we are put we have put Oh, they're gonna war the antelope tribes. We are putting ourselves in a very tough position right now. Oh, why do I why do we have to fight in Nevada? Why? Mercenary conscription though? Nice stuff. Uh, let's go ahead and expand these guys, because I need to throw in some demo teams eventually. But we really need to do that. Dogs would be nice, too. These guys are only 10 combat with, though. Throw in the demo teams first. This will hurt the amount of equipment we have for demo teams, which is fine. But we got to get more guns. So let's buy some more guns. Thank you. Send out some manual prospectors, because we can. Demilitarization? Yeah, I don't think so, son. I really don't think so. Now we got to core all this stuff up here, but so be it. Oh, Klamath is, Klamath is fighting them. Oh, man. Oh, and we have our focus. I forgot about that. My bad. Cap, growth more than just guns. Yeah, oh god, we have to do this, dude. Now that our situation with Vault City is solved, we can now go with new directions on how to develop our forces. Uh, I'll have to do that one off screen, too. Power from below, exploit the countryside. God dang it, this one, too. Oh, we get more weekly manpower and less consumer goods factories. Now that we got rid of the external threat that was Vault City, we have realized that there are multiple independent settlements and other communities scattered around in the land we control, and they are ripe for the picking. The most profitable way of dealing with them is to ask for regular security payments, because who really wants to deal with the... With handling Brahmin or growing crops or raising children to become future soldiers. Better outsource that. Yeah, so then we'll do that. I'll click on that app screen. I just want to read these so that you guys know what's going on as well. Let's do Above the Above. We found an odd, large open space with strange looking machinery all over the place. Our record tells us this used to be something called an airport and the machines are planes. They're supposed to fly? What a strange concept, but this could be very useful in the future. Very, very much. Very, very useful, actually. Uh, get some biplane fighters. That'd be nice. Even though we're... Actually, we are making some gliders. That's actually really cool. Oh, wow. Hold on. How much... Oh, wow. We got a lot of support... Uh, not support equipment, but infantry equipment. Good. Go with five for now. And then put dogs at the top. That'd be great. So for you guys, I don't think anyone's going to really kill the Shoshone Nation. So we'll take them out next. But obviously, we got to spend some time actually getting more compliance here. That'll be very, very important for us. Oh, Dan Busters, Kaisa's Legion. And even though this is still part of Nevada, we still need it. So... That'll be good. And manpower slowly going down, but eh, you know, whatever. Hey, at least we got a few factories. We've really done a lot better on our factory output right now, which is great. 
Uh, do Vault City. Just make sure we get enough civilian factories so we can produce, produce, produce. So much we're going to need for this. 72, which is not bad. We don't get that much from these places, but it'll still help out and lower resistance. 91. 60. Not bad. Cool. Since we expand that, I'm going to continue expanding the, our infantry divisions. they got to be at least 20 combat with it, at a minimum. At a minimum, they have to be that. Because we do have the equipment for it, so. And that does give us more army XP, which is nice. Uh, I really don't want to go to war, though, until we at least we core, get close to coring these other tiles. So we got to wait just a little bit. Because it'll be fast with the way we're doing it. Let's go ahead and grab, though, Freeman's Fixers. So we get some more fact civilian factory construction speed, because that's always so good to do. Good at repairs... Uh, ooh, figuring things out. We get 50 cast planes immediately. Or figuring things out. I think air technology might be better. Because we can always make more cast later on. So, I think that would be better to do. Tunnel communications. That's not bad either. Oh, primitive radio. Oh, whoops. Oh, well. Let's get some more cap and growth first, though. We do not expect to have much more useful information coming out of these entries in the terminal. And what is mostly sales statistics and promotional materials for new car models, there are a couple of articles that might improve how we run our production facilities. Cool. Someone also recommends from the comments from yesterday's video that we eventually play as a Brotherhood of Texas uh, when the Old World Blues update hits on October 23rd-ish, 2020. So, if this is past... October 2020, well then, obviously, I might have already played it. Maybe, maybe not. We'll see what happens. But, whenever we get an Old World Blues update, I always love playing them. Love, 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 love. And I'll probably do two campaigns at once, whenever there's an update for Old World Blues. So, refined tools, very good. Very, very good. Come on, more output, more output, more output. And we need more army XP, Jesus. And I'm barely making divisions right now, so... Come on, please, please. Poor, poor antelope tribes. Actually, how many plans do we have? Because that'll help out. At least having like some basic amount of plans is very nice. Obviously, these guys aren't great, but that's okay. Let's see, point one nine a day. It looks like the apostles are trying to kill off the Marlar tribes or something like that. Ooh. Okay, I didn't think that they would actually kill each other, kill, kill them, but okay. Uh, see, I just found something great. Better in our hands than our enemies. Uh, a bonus to... Hey, special forces. We can actually use that. The Crisis Motors Yearly Reviews, 2065 to 75. Huh. Okay, cool, cool, cool. I really wasn't expecting this. Oh, they cored that, so they got even more manpower now. Infiltrating the Steamworks. A new power emerges in Utah. They got a thousand manpower now. Eh, they're doing okay for themselves, actually. The o Actually, with the Odious King. Infiltrating the Steamworks. They went with... the This path. Hail to the King. Okay. Infiltrate the Steamworks, which means they can... Uh, Southern Roads, Western Roads. They can go with another Sanctified Gek. Lessons of the Cathedral. I think I went down this path once. And then the update hit for Old World Blues, or actually La Resistance, and I couldn't figure out how to play this again, so. Heaven's Gate, walk with the fire. Okay, fire, walk with me. Cool, cool, cool. Whatever. This is motors. Awesome. And spec up training manual. Let's grab some of this infantry equipment stuff. So, while the issues we found in the terminals didn't offer anything new or groundbreaking, they did show us how we can produce the weapons we have easier and with higher quality. We can produce them faster, they're more reliable, and they get more soft attack. What more, what more could you ask for? I, I want to go to war with Eastport, but I know the Aegis are going to try to fight them. They're looking a little small, though. Huh. Swing north. What are they doing? Like, which path are they going down? Uh, we don't really know. Yet another Utah road war. Because they could still ally the White Legs, and that would just would kill us, probably. Monoplane fighters. We already have fighters, so we must keep doing this. That'd be good. Good. Make even better planes. Better. Better, better, better. Get some more infantry. That'd be important. Troll War and Clear War on the Mar Oh, well, they're dead. Okay, cool. Help settlements out. Another free civilian factory. Don't mind if we do. And more monthly population. Hey, 15. That's better. 15, 3. Not bad, not bad. It could be building up more forts, but hey. Two apples, not bad. NCR to Clear War on the Scorpions. Good luck. Actually, NCR is kind of strong with the Desert Rangers, but even then, if they have the NCR Rangers with them, it doesn't mean they're super, super, super strong. They're just okay. Or just slightly stronger, really. Uh, what else do we have? We have 5,500 guns, which is good. Sediment Builder, I mean, that's okay. Slave Flogger. 
Uh, that stuff is always okay. Mercenary conscription and civilian draft. We lose division organization, which we can modify later on and get 5% more population. Don't mind if we do because over here with no training time, eventually we can do military academy training and get plus 8% to offset the minus 5%, even though we got the plus 10 for infantry battalions anyway. So not bad. Lots of talking. Lots and lots of talking. So oh, please don't kill me. Please don't kill me. Oh my god, no one here, please kill me. Even though, I kind of wouldn't mind going to war with the 80s now, or something like that, just to get it over with. Okay, they're going to war with those guys instead. Okay, whatever. Even though we don't really have the army for this either. Oof. Focus on the internal sphere. Occupy territories. Hey, we're looking really good in the Cyclops tribes, look at that. 73%, nice, Paradise Valley. Guns, bullets, collected back issues. Nice. Research speed? Yeah, it gives more research. A digital study book on the book of electronics. An introductory note on on it says that there, it is time for build, budding young electrician and everyone. With this information, we should be able to repair some of the long defunct parts of the terminal system, speeding up our progress even more. Yes, please. The fine tools are great, my friends. Uh, we, uh, extraction is okay. Let's get some crop rotation. Let's drop out a little bit. Get some strap tribal scout kits. And then follow it up with some. And do pioneer kits. I'm not even going to make spec off stuff. Not really until we get the next level of it, so. The planes are looking not bad. Dynamite's looking pretty good themselves. Let's get some doggos as well to help put down some resistance. That'd be very bueno. That's good. That's good. That's not bad. That's, yeah, that's pretty good too. Just going to keep getting me more army XP. We've got to make these guys at least 20 combat width. Minimum. Spec ops. Oh, these guys are only. God dang it. 10. Prospectors and there goes New Hammond. Yeah, if we get another division, we got to put them right around here, and we got to put on some anti tank. I've not forgotten about that, but we only have so much army XP. How strong are the 80s? Because they, their focus tree, and depending on what which path they go down, they can get a lot of manpower. Oof. War riders, yeah, we definitely got to get some anti tank for them. Uh, fire weaponry, that's not bad. Infantry armor, not bad. They've got a lot of guns, special forces equipment, motorized vehicles. Oh my goodness. All right. I think I'm allowed to spend a little bit more here. What do I want to spend it on? With this political power. Settlement Raider. Non-core manpower could be very useful. I don't want to lose more stability like this to do that, though. I don't mind doing that, but we need more stability first. And I'm not going to lower my war support like that, so. That's kind of out of the question. Let's do Raiders of the Skies. That'd be good. Just so we can have 10% more planes. Because that'd be very, very good. Even though we get 0.1 a day. Woof! And then we shall do... More than just guns... Travel communications. Encryption would not be bad. Let's go and do figure figure things out. Yeah, we might as well do that one. Well, we could try to repair the planes that are left. We will gain more out of it if we disassemble the ones that we actually work to see how they work. Because then we will be able to produce them on our own. Which will be a great thing. Let's see how we're building. Not bad. We're getting more and more civilian factories, which is great to help hold the line down here. We need one, two, three. Actually, I'm glad that the 80s, this kind of looks like this, just so that we can defend here more easily. And we have over here and here. So we really only need two, another army that's not ridiculously strong to do well over there. Monoplane attackers, yes please. Even though we still suffer from photophobia. Even though, I want to say like, over time, photophobia, like its buffs and debuffs should decrease because we're getting more and more used to the above. Like it only makes sense that we have, or we develop maybe slightly, slightly less photophobia. Maybe, hopefully, maybe, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm not. I don't know. We'll see what happens. But it definitely makes this campaign a little bit more challenging. Monthly population irrigation. Actually, no. We're going to grab some simple circuitry. Don't want to forget about that stuff. That stuff is good to get. Always good to get. Mm. Hey, we're still mobilizing. Nice. Oh, we must have made another civilian factory. And how are we doing here? Hey, we're doing great. Paradise Valley is awesome. Gold strike. And we can core it. It's not really worth coring, but I'm going to do it anyway. So we'll get rid of resistance. We might get a few more factories. We're really caught between a rock and a hard place now, as someone said in yesterday's video. Because we are facing New Reno, the 80s, the Crimson Acolytes, even the Desert Rangers to a degree. Because I know that the 80s here, they do get a war goal, I believe, against the Eastport nation eventually. So basically, oh, they get a good war for the Grabber territory. Grab the luggage. So we are really stuck where we're at. So right now, we have to core everything and build everything up as much as possible. There it is. They can go drive by Eastport. They need to work with the mountains, huh? So we are stuck. And the only way we can get out of this is for us to... I think we must do that one too. Prepare ourselves and defend 
as mightily as we possibly can. Figure that, figure anything out. That'd be great. Uh, down from below. I want to do this one, but we can't do it yet. And then we'll do more than just guns. Well, guns are well and good and give us a chance in the fight. They won't keep us alive outside of one. For that, we need a multitude of small things. Canteens, sturdy clothing, first aid kits, utility tools, camping gear, the list goes on. So far, we've scavenged or stolen most of those, but we need to be sustainable to do that. We need to figure out how to make the most of it ourselves. And let's get through one more focus before we end today's episode. Just one more. Just one more. Uh, let's get some breakthrough. I love the breakthrough. Breakthrough is awesome. Love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. Good, do that there. And we're going to still continue focusing on infantry. This will make them actually more worthwhile using in the field. So, keep training. Uh, Reaper the Noisy, did you learn anything? No, not yet. Daryl the Echoing, have you learned anything yet either? No. Okay, then. I'm seriously just waiting for someone to kill me off. Because if I took out the Crimson Echoes, because I'm sure we could. Hey, 5% more population, nice. Uh, infiltration tactics, more recon, yes. Soft attack and hard attack, yes. But I know I could take them out. The fact that if I take them out, and then the 80s might go to war with us, and then if the Troll Warren wants the Troll Warren wants the Crimson Acolytes territory, or maybe New Arena wants to kill us at the same time, like we're screwed. Like we're we will be really really screwed there. So we just have to bide our time. Mmm. Okay. Okay. Maybe we won't bide our time. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Why not? Um. This. I was not expecting this. Very good. Cool. Yeah. Great. Yeah. Even though that does mean actually aid from the Legion. Oh god, are they going down the Legion path? Oh, maybe. These guys might do invading Idaho, Utah, or Colorado. So they actually might not go to war with us. That goes the Western Brotherhood of Steel. Huh. So they might actually not try to kill us or take out Nevada. What that means, we might actually be able to go to war with Eastport and take them out before. Oh, they're actually doing pretty well down here. If they can get that, they can cut these guys off and kill them all. Or we can go to war with them. Hmm. Opportunities are at our fingertips. Oh, there goes those guys. Uh, we need just a little more political power here. And we can core this actually right now. But I'm going to wait to get this tile first just because it costs a little bit more. So we're going to wait to do this one first. And we shall finish with our focus with this one. Actually, you know what? I'm not going to do that yet. Uh... Off screen, I'm, I'm going to have to do some of these, so we have a few more things we can do. But regardless, I hope you enjoyed today's episode. If you did, consider leaving a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow when we will address the issue of the intelligence agency, which actually someone already left a comment on, which we'll address in the next episode. And maybe we'll go to war with the 80s, maybe, maybe not. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.